Lyle in Dallas. Yeah, uh, how you guys doing? Uh, first of all, I'm a huge fan. You guys are uh, do a great service to the community. Well, thank you. What's up? Uh, not a problem. Uh, I'll be real quick about this call. Uh, I wanted to first just real quick pimp this. Uh, uh, last year, a meta-analysis was done by Professor Zuckerman. I won't go into detail about it, but uh, it's worth Googling. It's really eye-opening. So throw that out there for you and your uh, listeners. Is this Phil Zuckerman? Uh, Myron Zuckerman. Oh, okay. Oh. And uh, okay. I mean, he, cites, he, he goes through uh, 63 different scientific studies uh, uh, based uh, on the correlation between intellect and religiosity. But anyways. Okay. Does, okay. I mean, what... <laughs> Do you want to just say a word about why that would be of interest? Yeah, well, I, like I what, 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 are the, what was what the, the finding? I, it's yeah. like you told me the method, but not the finding. Yeah, yeah, sure. I didn't want to pivot too much, but yeah, sure. Uh, well, the findings were uh, of the 63 scientific studies that he reviewed, 53 found a direct no, uh, negative correlation between uh, IQ and religiosity. Uh, it cites, again, uh, all the different studies, but uh, uh, in several, like uh, one by uh, uh, Professor Niebuhr. Uh, who he, he is a uh, he studies intellect, but uh, he found that like uh, uh, between uh, the difference between ages IQ and those uh, dogmatically religious in a study of a little over seven thousand people uh, showed a five point eight nine percent higher IQ in atheists, uh, three point eight two uh, percent higher IQ over a liberally religious, and uh, so on. I yeah, I prefer to be kind of careful about tossing those kind of things around just because like the last caller threw out there that we're just a group of people who calls other people morons. Uh, sure. And I, you know, I don't think we do that. I mean, we think we try not to. Anyway. We think they're incorrect, but I know some very smart Christians and I know some very dumb atheists. So Absolutely. Uh but but yeah. I'm willing to check out the study and accept that the correlation might be there. You know, I, sure. I, I think and I think what what may be really going on is that um, that the more worldly you are in the sense of uh, being exposed to different religions and different beliefs and different claims and different ways of evaluating evidence, that that leads you to you know a broader education and a better education leads you to better conclusions. You know, that's that's kind of how I would I would frame that, and it may be that people with higher IQ pursue academic careers or, or get that, that education or, or are hungry for those, those sorts of, uh, that sort of knowledge. Um, I wouldn't say that, I don't, wouldn't say that, that that lets you say that religious people are dumb, right? Sure. And that, yeah, not on the individual level. I completely accept that. Uh, and you're probably right in why those generalities exist. Uh, but I, I only need to mention that meta-analysis, uh, I guess to go into the point that uh, uh, there's two different thought processes on how to approach a, a debate with a theist, and uh, you guys are some of the very best at it, so I'm not questioning your, uh, the way you do it at all. Uh, however, like, for instance, Sam Harris said, uh, when you're in, in a job interview, if you say uh, you believe in Jesus, uh, nobody bats an eye, but if you say uh, you believe in Elvis, uh, you suffer immediate consequences. Yeah. And uh, I think that's important, uh, because the best way to... Uh, it seems like the best way to change your mind is to uh, induce self-reflection. And uh, ridicule, uh, it seems, produces like an immediate negative reaction, but uh, eventually it would invoke that self-reflection. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, you know, you know I think in the br broader topic uh, uh, of convincing people, I, I think all sorts of approaches, you know, y yield some results, you know, and it's worth... It's worth pursuing all sorts of angles. Humor, humor is a good one. Ridicule is good in the sense that, yeah, it, it kind of slams somebody into a brick wall and gets them to think, hopefully, uh, and and um, it has its place. So uh, I, I'd say, you know, do whatever you're best at. You know, do whatever you think works, and you know, try to try to make headway. Yeah, and I, I think sure. that uh, having a general academic knowledge of what should work on people is no substitute for uh, practice of. Yeah. Uh, yes, just going out there and talking to people and seeing what kind of feedback you get. And I encourage people to have those kind of conversations. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you guys again. You guys, uh, like, like I said, you uh, help promote critical thinking uh, throughout your community and at this point the rest of our country. So uh, thank you very much for the service you guys do. All right, thanks. Thank you. We try. Uh, see ya. Yeah.